What's up, YouTube? Welcome to Shobi TV. Um, my name is Brandon, as you all know. Um, I have this station along with my beautiful girlfriend, Toby. Um, normally, we do videos together, but today I wanted to do a solo video and talk about something that's very difficult for me to talk about. It's a problem that I've had for most of my life and I go through periods where it gets better and then it gets worse again. And it's just always something that's been a constant struggle for me. And I can't believe that I'm actually opening up about this, but I have a stuttering problem. And you may be watching me now and say, you don't have a stuttering problem. Like, you sound normal to me. Like, you, you sound very proper. But now I'm, I'm actually going through a phase where I feel pretty good. So I, you don't hear me stuttering as much. But it, but it is something that has always been a big problem for me. And a lot of it comes from confidence. Like, if I'm feeling really, really confident, then I don't do it. But if I'm not feeling confident, then I just stutter all over the place. And it started when I was little. Um, I don't know exactly what happened, but I've talked to my mom about it and I've talked to my aunts about it. And they told me that I got really, really sick one time and I had a really high fever. And after that, my speech was just never the same. So I've never seen a doctor about that. So I don't know if that's the actual reason why I stutter, but that's what they tell me is the case. So like I said, ever since I've been little, I've had this problem. Um, I had it all throughout high school and it got better towards the end of my high school career because I was doing really good with my work and I just felt really confident and I got into one of the best universities in the country. Went to UNC Chapel Hill, go Tar Heels by the way. <laughs> And I was just feeling on top of the world. So my confidence was up, therefore I didn't really stutter. But once I got to college, I was in for a wake up call. Um, I did very well in college, but I struggled in the beginning. It took me a while to, to get used to college level work compared to high school level work. And my first semester was really tough. I got behind a little bit and I just, my grades weren't as good as I wanted them to be. You know, I didn't flunk or, or, or I mean anything like that, but they just weren't all A's like I was used to. You know, I had some B's and some C's and it just wasn't something that I was really used to. And it really hurt my confidence. And ever since I was in college, like the, the whole stuttering thing just kind of got a little bit worse and worse and worse and I just felt like the closer I got to graduation the worse it got I was like stressed out about what I was gonna do next in my life and what I was gonna do in terms of my career or whether I was gonna go to graduate school I just didn't really know and I just kinda of felt confused and just didn't really have a lot of confidence and the stuttering just got worse. And I ended up going to graduate school for a master's in healthcare management. And as you can tell, like it's, it's a it's a management degree, so it's a business degree, which means that I have to be good at public speaking. So when I was in college, I was able to kind of hide it. Like I could sit in the back of the classroom and kind of hide and didn't have to worry about the teacher calling on me. But when I got to graduate school, the classes were smaller. It was only 30 people in my class. And I was expected to do public speaking all the time. And it was, it was, it was tough. Like I, I didn't know how I was going to do it. I was like, I, I started to question whether whether I was in the right field. Like, I've always had a strong passion for healthcare, but I just was like, man, I have to do all this public speaking. Like, is this what I'm supposed to be doing? Like, I just didn't know. And I just remember my first presentation, I was so scared. Like, I, I was so, so scared. Um, I practiced presenting for 
like a couple of weeks ahead of the actual presentation and I was just so scared that I was going to stutter and it, I don't it's only certain words that causes that causes me to stutter um, usually duh words like delivery or just really anything that starts with a duh and of course the presentation I was giving was about what it, it, it was a healthcare. It, it well. So the speech that I. So the um, first presentation that I had to give, was actually, actually incorporated a lot of those dull words that I struggled with, and yeah, it, it was very scary. I just remember practicing and practicing and practicing and praying, praying that I didn't embarrass myself in front of everybody. But a strange thing happened. Um, it's almost like I can flip a switch. Whenever I get in front of a camera or whenever I get in front of a group of people and even with singing, I've, I've sang a little bit in some of the previous videos, but even when I sing, it's like I just flip a switch on and I don't stutter anymore, which makes me think that it's almost psychological. Like it's just in my head I almost feel like I'm in a constant battle with myself. I'm like fighting against myself and I'm just trying to break through, just trying to break through that stranglehold that stuttering has on me. And ever since I've been in graduate school, you know, it's gotten better. It's a daily struggle. I've, I've, I've gra I graduated from, from graduate school a couple of years ago and it's still a daily struggle that I face. Um, I work in the corporate world and I've messed up, you know, I've stuttered badly in meetings, but I've just kind of gotten to the point to where I don't care. I refuse to let stuttering hurt my career. I refuse to let it prevent me from attaining my dreams and going to places that I want to go. Like, it's not, it's not going to affect me like that. I, I just refuse. So if I get into a corporate room and stutter, you know what? I don't care. I really don't care. It may be a little awkward for a moment, but so what? You like me, you like me. If you don't, you don't. So basically what I'm trying to say is that I know I'm not the only one that struggles with this. I know that there are thousands upon thousands, probably millions of people that have the same problem that I do. And I just want to encourage you to just believe, just believe in yourself, just believe that you can overcome this. Look at me, like you, I'm talking to you right now and you can't even tell that I stutter probably. So if I can do it, you can do it too. You just have to have faith, you have to believe. Um, so, sometimes it helps if I stand in front of a mirror and just talk and just focus on those words that really give me a um, am hard time. Um, so those are some of the things I do, just stand in front of a mirror, just constantly believing in myself. I'm so, I, I have certain inspirational quotes that I think about throughout the day that really motivate me and help me believe in myself. and. Most importantly, you just gotta exhale. Like I, sometimes I feel like I get ahead of myself. Like I'm like my brain's almost thinking faster than what my mouth is. So sometimes I just have to take a deep breath and <sighs> exhale. Like I said, I can't even believe that I'm talking about this. I've never talked about this to a um, large audience before. It's something that I've always been kind of embarrassed about and that I try to keep to myself, but. You know what? I'm t I'm tired of being embarrassed about it. You know, I don't I don't really care who knows anymore. And I know that other people are going through it, and I hope that I can be a, a um, inspiration to them as well. So, there you go. I stutter. I stutter, but I have a strong will, and I know that I can overcome this, and that I will overcome this. And if anyone out there is going through this as well, you can overcome it too. Well, I've enjoyed talking to you all. 
we're going to continue having these types of talks again. Um, I want to tell you all about my life. I've got an interesting story. I can't tell it all in, in um, one video, but we'll take it one video at a time. Have any questions? You can leave it in the comment box. But until next time, YouTube, bye.